to another video. Yes, there's a messy background. Ignore it. I switched up for a second. And today I'm going to do my June slash July slash probably a couple months, a little bit before, um, favorites video of basically just all my favorite things. Um, I hope you enjoyed. Don't forget to check out the, all the channels down below. Subscribe to my channel and all the other channels. Check them out. Leave a like. Click the notification bell so you'll be notified when I post again. And I'll, let's get to it. Alright. So the first thing first. We're going to go with my makeup products first. I'm going to start off with slime. And yes. We're going to go my little cousin Allie. And Sean made it. And I'm going to need a napkin after this. But slime. Like homemade slime. It's, it's so fun to play with. Like, can you can you enjoy this with me? Oh. And actually, it's also good because they use glue and like um, detergent or something like that. And that's basically it. And it becomes slime. Um, but yeah, just thought I would put that in there. Oh, by the way, a little plug. Don't forget to check out their uh, well, Allie. YouTube channel down below. Anything with Allison. Um, next thing we'll go with my, uh, this is kind of weird, my word search book. Um, I got this from five down below actually. It has over, over 200 word finding puzzles and I found a couple. Um, I'm on number, I'm on number 12 right now. I didn't finish it. Usually it's, and I've been obsessed with this. Excuse me, I had a but, um, this is definitely going to be my entertainment, basically, when I go to Portugal, especially on the plane, and while I'm there, because, I mean, I'm not going to understand everything, like all the TV shows, etc. So, just a little bit of entertainment, and I like word searches a lot, to be honest, so, that's that. Next thing, we'll go a little bit to the, the food aspect, um, these Archway. I think it's called I Soft Ice Oatmeal Cookies are my favorite. But I legit, my mom legit has bought me three boxes. Like, that's how, you know, I freaking love these. They're really, really good and really, really yum. And definitely recommend them. Next are just about my favorite chips. For the fact, like, I bought two today and I already opened them. They're freaking Dipsy Doodle Barbecue Flavored, my, my cousin's mom, my aunt, got me into this, and I am obsessed. Like, it's so, mm, it's so good. Not good for you, but it's so good. <coughs> Next favorite, I'd have to say... It's because I've been using this purse for a while, for like this month basically, to go to work and stuff, and this is a pretty old purse, it's my secret tour purse. I got this, I don't even know, like maybe three years ago for, no, yeah, maybe three years ago for, um, for my birthday and Christmas, and I'm just obsessed with it, and I love it, and I don't know, it's just so pretty. Alright, now into the makeup. So, um, sorry, I was not tripping with you. My first favorite is my Milani um, Keep It Smooth Lip Balm. I don't have the lip scrub, I want to try the lip scrub. Oh, but look, I'm already getting to the bottom of it. Oh, I don't know if you can actually see that. But it's just really nice and buffy, it keeps your lips soft. So, I like this a lot. Um, kind of like skincare, I guess. Is this clean and clear Persa Gel 10 um, cream? And basically, I just put it on like my little marks, and so far, I think it's been doing a good job. They're not as neat, like they're not as big as they were noticeable. I think they're going down, and so it's all good because this is the only thing I use. So love that. Uh, next thing I like is this skin nutrients. Age Defied Circle and Puffiness Serum. It's basically like this serum on a roller ball that you like roll. And I only got this for a dollar, guys. This was at the Dollar Tree. 
and I was like, you know what? It's not gonna kill me to try it. So I tried it, and I like I could see a difference within the next day. Like if my eyes, or throughout the day, if I put it in the morning, it definitely kind of like clears it a little bit. Not like completely, but definitely, it definitely like covers like it. I don't know how to explain it. Like it definitely dials down the puffiness and your dark circles. Kind of like goes from dark to like a little, little less dark. You know? Sorry, that was my Xbox. Um, next favorite is my Elf Prime Aqua Primer Mist. And I love this thing. It just gives you that glow from the skin that, oh, I dropped it. That youth glow. And it's just it's a pretty bottle too. It's just really really nice and if you're oily I probably wouldn't recommend this well I mean I'm oily but I have been dry like I'm kind of combination a little bit more on the oily but right now I've been kind of combination and I still kind of like it anyway um it definitely refreshes the skin but when I do want to cover those pores I've been definitely reaching for my Lorac Perfection Primer um this has been a favorite for a while I don't know why I smelled it um, I've had this for a while. Um, it definitely smoothed out that pore area, which I love. I usually savor this for like those special occasions, which is why it's less until now. And then like lately, I've just been using it whenever I just felt like my pores needed to go down. So I do recommend this for eyebrows. I've been kind of using combination of my Revlon Colorstay brow pencil. It's not my favorite brow pencil. But with a light hand, you can make it work. Um, today, my, I had a fight with my eyebrows, okay? They're not the best that they could be, but it is the combination of this. And so the next tinted brow mascara in black, which is kind of dark. I need to get my lighter shade because I had the light and the dark, and I used to do like a light to ombre. I don't know, it looked cool. But I do kind of like it. I go light hand with this through my brow hair. And I kind of shake this up to make it, you know, nice and fleeky, even though it's not fleeky today. But usually, it's usually it's okay, but today I had a fight with them, so. But overall, I do like them. They're not the worst, and I've been using them for, like, literally June and July, so. That's that. <coughs> <coughs> Sorry, guys. Um, now, foundations. I've been kind of using these two this month. Been using my LA Girl Pro Covered HD High Definition. This is kind of a definitely a luminous, but it does give you like that kind of like glow from within that youth look. Um, if you're not a like, my bad, if you don't care about like pimple marks and like stuff being like your texture on your skin being kind of more noticeable because it is like that luminous liquidy foundation it's not like full coverage completely I use maybe like it's nice with one with one layer on but I use it a little bit more around my nose and like pore area just to cover up a little bit more but it is still a nice foundation for everyday wear and then I also kind of use my smooth skin powder and matte powders on the area that I don't want to be luminous because then they just look too crazy and too oily. But in general, I do like this foundation. It's it's pretty decent. And for the price, you can't go wrong. And the next one that I've been liking a lot, again, which I kind of didn't like at first, but I'm kind of growing on me again. And I need another shade in both. Um, is the Milani Conceal and Perfect 2-in-1 Foundation Concealer. I haven't used this as a concealer yet. Hmm. I mean, I've used all of my face when I have concealer. I don't know. But, um, it's pretty decent, as you can see. I don't think you can see that in the bottle, but I am getting low. <coughs> Excuse me. It is pretty, <laughs> pretty covered, like, full coverage, almost. Like, medium to full coverage. And, but it kind of, on my skin, kind of stays tacky. So, it depends on the powder that you use that it will look really good. Usually, I've been using, like, the Airspun or the... NRC Smooth Skin Loose Powder and it's looking pretty good. So it just, I guess it really just depends on the powder you use. On, well, that's on me. 
because I mean I know the people it may be different but on me that's the way I use it and it's really nice I want the concealer now my favorite concealer of course I would drop it under the desk I'll be right back okay I'm back guys I picked it up um and my favorite concealers are the LA Girl Pro Conceal and I got the orange shade for color correcting then it actually has a shade called orange chameleon I think I can't read it on my face oh look how pretty my eyes look anyway sorry girl I'm close there and creamy beige um I used creamy beige under my eye today it's really really nice I didn't color correct color correct today but this definitely covers nicely these concealers are really 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 nice and really beautiful and <laughs> it's like really decent coverage um and they blend nicely so i would recommend these all the way and for the price like come on can't go wrong with that go get them <laughs> um next i'm just gonna go with my eyeshadow primer and the eyeshadow primer that i've been actually hold on so sorry the eyeshadow primer that i've been loving is the milani eyeshadow primer it just like my eyelids are really oily and it just does a really nice job i used it today too as you can see, my eyelids are still looking pretty good, so, yeah, very good, pretty nice. Um, and then also, for the days I didn't use the eyeshadow primer, um, and then I wanted to shake up my brows, I didn't do it today, because, like I said, my brows are not the happiest, or the best they've been, so, um, but on those days that I do like my brows, and I do want to shape them, I use my NYX eyeshadow base, it's also a pretty decent base, a uh, base, base, um, I use it to shape my eyebrow, and I also bring it down to the lid to like as an eyeshadow base it's really really nice and i think this is it's almost gone i'm almost need another one and it's just that my eyelids are really oily so i have to automatically set it with like the eyes like an eyeshadow but it's really, really nice i've been loving this forever so but i you know i've used it so gotta mention it right i keep getting close I'm sorry <coughs> Now for powder, like I said for the foundation, I've been loving my Airspun Loose Face Powder. In it's in the shade Extra Translucent Extra Coverage. I don't know if there's just a translucent one because if there is, I might get that one because this does give you a little extra coverage. Not even gonna lie, but it's pretty nice and easy. I like the smell of it too. So this one and. For this, you don't even have to be afraid of using too much. I've learned that from Patrick Stars, where I heard about this. And literally, you do, like, use too much, and it just won't make you look cakey. Like, it'll just make you look nice and smooth, and you just dust it off, and you're fine. So, I do really like this powder. And this look, this goes a long way. I'm not even, I've had this for, I don't even know, like, three years, two years? Not even a dent, basically. Um, and then the New York City, I always say New York City, NYC. Smooth Skin um, Loose Face Powder is just really, really nice. I use this all the time for my under eye and to make because this makes your, your under eye look so smooth and so nice and just like, oh, beautiful. This is really, really nice. And for the price, oh my god, guys, get on it. Um, mascara. Mascaras I've been loving is uh, Maybelline Last Sensationals. Um, the full fan effect and the blushes full fan effect like the original and this one um i feel as though like one gives me length and one gives me width i feel like this gives me length and this one like just makes it look so luscious as it's called i love combining these two they're beautiful and they don't really look clumpy so i really like these two um the eyeliner that i've been using i've actually been using two and i forgot to get the other one okay um, black eyeliner that I've been loving is the Maybelline, um, Master Precise Skinny Pencil. It just gets in that line just beautifully. Oh, you know, on the lash line. It's really, really nice. And just for, like, um, I would use a nail but to be honest, I, because I have a hunter. It's actually a Stila Smudge Crayon. I don't know what shade this is. I think Kitten, or maybe not even Kitten. I have no idea what the name of this is. Um, I'll put it on screen but this is basically just like a really pretty like rose champagne kind of color i'll put it on hand so you can see 
to do that. You can use it as like kind of like an eyeshadow base. But I've actually been using it as eyeliner on my waterline. And it kind of brightens up. But not that like doesn't do too much. And it's like the beautiful, just nice uh, waterline color. I like it. So, yeah. And um, for my... I'm just going to go for my lips first. For my lips, I've been using two this past month over and over again. I don't have it on today. Today I used something different. Today I used the e.l.f. matte lip pencil in Prayin' pray pray and a NYX butter gloss. I don't know the name. I'll put it on screen now because it's all the way up there. I'm not going to read it. But um, I've been using this Wet n Wild Katsu liquid lipstick in... Give me mocha. It's just a beautiful, like, red, brick red color, like, nude almost on my lip. It's just beautiful. Beautiful. And these last all the time. So when I want it to last, this is beautiful. They could even last when you eat. And you might have to just touch up a little bit on the middle. It's beautiful. Um, that's going to dry on my hand a little. And when I'm not using that, I usually just go for my MAC Oil, just a classic MAC Oil color. It's really pretty nude. And, yeah. Um, the eyeshadow palettes that I've been going for for this month is literally <laughs> kind of insane. I got three, and they're all from Morphe. Um, this one is the 35O palette, and I just got these literally this, like, beginning of this month, like, end of June. These are I love with Morphe. They're pigmented. They're gorgeous. I always want to grab them and use them now. Like, it's amazing. Um, I'm going to wipe my hand off before I continue because that liquid lipstick is going to piss me off when it dries. Okay. Sorry, guys. Um, as I was saying, um, then I have the 35R palette. These are all going to look similar to me, some people, but they're oh, so beautiful, so pigmented, and I just love the gold in this palette. Um, and then the 35, no, 25A palette, which I used on my eye today. I have this on the side, this little, like, red, sh red shimmery, coppery moment on my eyelid. Right now, look. I have this palette all. I have the black. I have um, the brown mix. This is just overall the versatile palette. And it is a little smaller than the big size one. So you could kind of like. It's kind of travel friendly. And it's really not that expensive. So it's beautiful. And it has just about everything you need. Sorry guys. My camera battery died. Um, now on to like the last couple products. Um, we're going to go bronzer. Because I only got one bronzer that I've actually been loving, and I did use it today on top of a Pro Vision Cream bronzer. Is the excuse me is the Butter Bronzer by Physicians Formula. It's just really really pretty, and you can go light hair or you can go heavy with it, and it still looks nice. It's not too orange. It's not too cool. It's kind of in the perfect mix, and it's beautiful. And the smell is so good. This is definitely a winner. Next is blushes. Now, two blushes that I've been loving are this is the Wet n Wild Color Icon Blush in Mellow Wine. This is just a beautiful, like, kind of watermelon -y coral type of color. I love coral colors, so it's just really pretty and really neutral and goes with most looks. I didn't, I'm not wearing it today. I'm actually wearing them another one. I'm going to show you. This one's in the Becca and Jaclyn Hill palette, and this one. One that I've been loving is Armoretto. Now, I kind of have Armoretto and, uh, hold on, I don't know the name of the other shade, Rose Spritz or Sparts, something like that. Sorry, the reflex. Um, these two shades kind of mix, but Armoretto is my favorite of all time blush because that's my go-to. It's a beautiful coral neutral color, not too orange, not too, like, um, neutral either. It's just beautiful. It goes with most looks. I have it mixed today. Um. I love it. Now highlighters. I have Champagne Pop on today too, which is a cult favorite of mine. This one right here. It's beautiful. I'm just saying I have it on. It's definitely one of my all-time favorites, but I haven't been using it this month that much. I've actually been using these two. Um, 
using the LA Girl Strobe Light Strobing Powder in the shade 100 Watt. Now, what I'm going to say about these powders, well, I've only ever tried this one, is they're, they're pretty, but they are the type of highlighter where it's kind of powdery, glittery. So if you're not into that, um, I would not recommend this, but if you don't mind, go right ahead because it's really pretty, but it is glittery. Can you see that on my hand? I don't know if you can't, but it is glittery, but with a light hand, it just looks really, really pretty. It is definitely like one of those bam in your face, and if you're not scared to rock it, rock it. And now, um, oh my god, and now the next highlighter I have is this Milani highlighter in Afterglow. Now this wouldn't be the one I would go for, I would go for like a gold more, but this was the only one they had left, and I wanted to try the formula, and I actually really, really like it, and this one's not... In the pan, it looks really like champagne rose kind of color, but it like on the skin, it just doesn't pull off that much rose. Like it, it's just a pretty champagne color. So it's right there at the bottom. It's really, really pretty and really, really blinding. And for the price, amazing. Um, and last but not least, my favorite little setting spray I've tried. This little sample of the. Well, not a little sample, but this little size of the L'Oreal Infallible Pro setting spray. And it's actually really, really nice and really, really pretty. And it does a pretty good job at the longevity of your makeup. So, I would, I don't know if I would pay, pay, the, uh, pay the price of this. Because I like the NYX ones, and they're a lot cheaper than this. And I like the Wet n Wild one, and it's a lot cheaper. I don't know if I would say... The price is amazing, no, but it does look nicely, so I bought the travel set, the travel size, because it's a little cheaper, and I mean, I got like three other spread setting sprays, I'm not gonna go through this one too fast, but, well, at least I don't think so, but it is definitely nice, so I gotta give it to it, it is definitely nice. Now, I would show you my not so favorite products but I'm not gonna lie I kind of did a decluttering on live me once again my username is gonna be right here it's also in the description box all the way at the bottom go check out my social media but I've been on live me and I did a decluttering on live me with like with some people and I was like these are the ones that I don't use and I already gave it away or oh, well most of it gave it away or got rid of them so, um, I can't do that right now, um, but next, um, month, well, I don't know about next month, because next month I'm going to be in Portugal, but maybe in September, when I do that month's favorites, I'm going to do the, um, one, the products I don't like either, so it's probably going to be my, you know, my, my go-tos and my poo-poos. I know that's cheesy, but I'm going to do it because nobody else has done it. At least not that I know of. I'm sorry if you have. <laughs> but to, today I, I do not have any poo-poos for you because I kind of got rid of my poo-poos. <laughs> Hopefully. <laughs> yeah, let me stop lying. But I hope you enjoyed this video. We can like, subscribe if you want to. Click the notification bell so be notified when I post again. Don't forget, obviously, to go check down the channels down below, my vlog channel, the family channel, etc. And check out my social media down below. I do post there pretty frequently. Well, not on the channel one that much. I need to do more of that. But on my personal Instagram and Snapchat, etc. I do post pretty frequently. And I'm pretty frequently live. When my phone is pretty much charged, I'm going to go live again. So, you should check me out. And, yeah. Um... I hope you guys enjoyed this video, like I said, and I'll see you next time. Bye!